One of our four permanent captains, Nathan Cottrell. Hope I'll for questions for me. What's your uh, favorite football memory from your youth? There's really too many to count. I think the first one that comes to my mind, though, is probably the, my first start uh, playing Tennessee in the, in the Mercedes zone was probably my my most vivid memory, at least one of my favorites, just because it was my hometown team, so I yeah, get to play against exactly, them and get yeah. my first start against, against them. That was that one was really special. I mean, there's been way too many even put on one hand. I mean, it's just every year you got a whole lot more to think about, a whole lot of more things going on. So there's been there's been great things every year, but. Has the gravity hit you yet that this is the end? And oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, just after practice yesterday, I I sat out. Uh, Near the near the exit for a little bit at the end door, and it was just thinking. I was like, "Wow, that's my last Tuesday practice in college ever. Like, I'm never gonna have another one of those here." You know, just things like that. I mean, the same thing today. This is my last Wednesday here, and it's just it's something that that has hit me, but I don't think it's hit me fully yet. Cause I know come Saturday, it's gonna be crazy. Like, just on top of how big this game is for everybody, it's just the emotions of just being for it being my last game is gonna be. A lot to handle, but uh, you know, they say they say everything in life. You know, the, all the good things. You know, sometimes they got to come to an end, and so this is just one of the, one of the next chapters coming to the end of my life. Um, so just hopefully we can go out with a bang and, and just have fun with it. Can you talk a little bit about how you embraced a different role? I mean, a year ago at this time you're looking ahead, you're going to be the starter and slot guy and have a major role, and then things change so dramatically, and you have a completely different role as mm -hmm. basically kind of a special teams guy and a role player on offense. Can you just talk about how you embraced the just a totally different situation over the last year? I mean, yeah, it's just uh, really just every day I had to just come up with the mentality of just finding something else to get better at. Um, you know, Coach Collins just harps like, we, you know, you all know what, what he says every day, special teams is the main priority. And, you know, I just – as soon as I, you know, I got the honor to, to be put on most of the special teams, um, except field goal and field goal block. I think the only two I'm not on. Um, just being able to be in that role and having that uh, that position, um, I, you know, I just try to take full advantage of it as much as I could. And you know, well, you got to play the cards you're dealt. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. I mean, you could sit here and you know just shrug your shoulders and be all mad, but that's that's just not me. You know. Um, it's still been an incredible year. I've I've grown tremendously, both personally and physically on the field. I believe so. It's just it's been a honestly for me. It's, it's been a lot of fun, and I've really enjoyed joined, enjoyed the transition and just just try to take it uh, as best as I could. When you talk about growing so much in so many ways, I mean seniors are obviously always going to be expected to be leaders mm -hmm. in any program and so forth. But given that this is a transition year. Have you been asked to be a leader in different ways? Was there a point before the season where Coach Collins sat you down and said, "I need this from you"? Um, I mean, I, I've I've talked about this before. I mean, whenever Collins first got here, he brought all the seniors in uh, into the room and just talked about you know what what he sees and the vision he wants to see. And then, you know, from that point, you can either <laughs> take what he said and actually apply it, and and that's what I try to do, and most every other seniors try to do. I think you could go to any anybody on the team and ask about any other senior on the team, they're all going to have the same kind of things to say. I think this senior class has um, laid a really strong foundation um, for the rest of the years to come. Um, but yeah, I mean, we kind of knew what, what kind of roles we needed to play and, and to fill, especially after the seniors we lost last year. We lost a lot of big seniors last year too, um, that all were really great leaders. Um, so it's just kind of growing up, you, for me, I kind of expect all right, my senior year I want to be I just want to I want to enter that leader role. Like I you kind of have your your position, you know, growing up um from your freshman through your, through your senior year, just different roles you're going to play and um this is just kind of the role that I was hoping I was going to be able to take on and thankfully um and uh, I've been honored by the team to be able to become one of the permanent captains towards the end of the year. So it was a huge uh, huge uh responsibility and very grateful for it. With that being one of the permanent senior captains and, and just being a senior, period. Mm -hmm. How have you gone about business differently this year than your first three years? Give some examples of what you've done that you didn't do the first three years. I think I've just been more vocal this year. I think my my plays remain the same. I've just, I mean, I've always kind of done what 
I'm known to do. Um, I've obviously learned a lot more this year with different coaches. I um, learned a lot from Coach Choice, a lot from Coach Dixon in the spring. Um, then all the special teams coaches that, has helped, that have helped us out. Um, but for me personally, I think as far as being a leader goes, I think just being a little bit more vocal, um, not being afraid to hold teammates accountable, um, and not kind of being afraid of what they're going to say or anything like that. Just, just helping them understand that, hey, I want us to be great, and I'm not going to call you out to be mean. It's, I just want to hold you accountable so that we can take, like, take that next step. When, when you hold teammates accountable, does that mean occasionally? You, you, for those of us in the common populace, you jump somebody now and then and say, look, what the hell are you doing? I, that's not that's not my way of doing it, because um, you know everybody takes certain criticism a different way, and um, I mean there's certain teammates yeah you can you can get on them a little bit and they're gonna respect you for that, but there's other guys you know they don't want to sit there and be yelled at and things like that just because it's just kind of just their mental. Everybody's got a different mental capacity of what of what helps them the most, and um, just trying to learn that through your different teammates. I mean that's a part of of the position I've been put in, you know, being a leader on the team, you just kind of got to learn how certain people react to certain things, and then you kind of know the best way to, to respond in certain situations. What, uh, what was your response to finding out you were named captain, and what did the honor mean to you? I was speechless at first. Um, I mean, it's something I definitely have, have been working for and was hoping I would get the chance to, uh, to become this. Um, and then just having all that hard work and – and, and dedication and just trying to be a leader even before that was, was a thing. Um, just seeing that payoff was, it was just huge for me personally. It's something, like I said, I've worked for it for however many years leading up to this point now. So just being able to take that role and, and have that responsibility meant a whole lot to me. Can you talk about your buy-in moment? You sort of controlled your destiny in terms of if you wanted to go play somewhere else you could have. What was the moment that was kind of the buy-in moment for you with Coach Collins and that you wanted to stay here and be part of this? I mean, I never even thought about transferring anywhere else. Honestly, it, it really never crossed my mind. Um, I mean, Georgia Tech's been great to me, um, even before Collins got here. I mean, I think I'd be remiss not to um, say thank you and all that to all my, my previous coaches um, that I had. You know, Coach Johnson and Coach Owens um, were kind of the two I was with the most. But then, I mean, everybody else, too, that have helped me grow to get to this point. Um, so, I mean, really, there was never a point in my mind where I was like, all right, well, they're gone, so I'm going to leave. I was like, well, I just didn't see the point in that. Um, just for seeing how far I'd come, so I figured why not just continue to, to, to grind it out, and I mean, we'll see what happens, so. Maybe what does this league mean to you as far as the rivalry? <laughs> as far as the rivalry goes, I mean, it's just one of those games that you do see it on the calendar the whole year. Uh, it's one of those we always, we know it's coming at the end of the season every year, so it's not going to change. Um, so leading up to it and finally getting to this week, it's just, I mean, it's clean, old-fashioned hate. That's what they call it. Um, so for me personally, it's just it's a really exciting environment. I'm glad we get to be at home for it. Um, I think we're going to have a big crowd out. Obviously, Georgia, Georgia travels, so they'll have their crowd there too. But it's going to be a fun atmosphere. It's, uh, it's just always an exciting game. I, I love that one. I mean, we do that just about every week. I mean, I've always thought of football as a very emotional sport. You've always got your ups and downs, your highs and lows. Um, you never know which way it's going to go one week or the other. Um, so for me personally, I don't, I don't look at this week any differently than I would any other week, other than the fact that obviously it's a big rivalry game. Um, but I mean, it's still football. We're still going out to do the same thing, uh, trying to get a win at the end of the day. So as long as we can keep our emotions in check, and uh, not let not let our emotions get the best of us because that's when you get those personal fouls and things like that that you just don't need because um, you can still play hard and not get those kinds of penalties. So, do you pay any more uh, do you pay any more attention to Georgia during the season than you do any other team? Do you seek their highlights or read about what they're doing any more than you do other teams, even if it's Tennessee where you grew up? No, I mean like I like I said, uh, every week we go out with the same. Same mindset. We've always got the same process we're going to do. Um, I'm, I'm sure you all know Collins has a very set process of how he likes to do things. It's not changed this <laughs> week to any other one. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say we look at them any more than we do the other team. Um, it's just the fact that for us seniors, it's our last one. So it's, it's, a, it's a real big game for us and the whole team as well. Thank you.
What would it mean? <laughs> That's something I can't even put into words. That would mean more to me than probably any win I've had in my career, honestly. Just being able to go out on a high note. Um, and then just for the team, it just helps It helps off season. You've always just got that much more rigor to come back. Even though I'm going to tell you, there's going to be no flat off season this year with, with the staff coming back. We've got – some amazing people. We've got some amazing people coming in. We've got crazy, awesome coaches that just – they won't accept anything less than, than what they want. So, uh, but, yeah, for me personally, this would just – it'd be an awesome win. It'd be great. I think like any other game we've won and, and I've played it, I'll remember it for the rest of my life. So. Thanks, Nate. Thanks, Nate. All right. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it.